Hello, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. God has a word. I got it. We can go this way. Um, okay. The Lord has led me here to the park to record a word. The world right now is under a powerful delusion. Oh, Jesus Christ. Help me to release this word, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He's out. And he is out to destroy God's children. My God. The Lord says, come out from amongst them. Whoever you are listening to, whomever has been leading you, my God, whoever your preacher is, the pastor, the teacher, the evangelist, the apostles, my God, even the prophets, my God. False prophets are on the rise. My God, my God, you stopped me in my tracks. False prophets are on the rise. The Lord says, come out from amongst them. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about adjusting my video because I want the Lord to have his way. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God's judgment is here. He is judging the world, my God. Starting with the church first. Those that belong to him. And those that walk away from him. And those that refused him. This is God's judgment here on earth. My God. The most high God is the one exposing his people. He is raising up new leaders in the body of Christ. He is exposing who his people are and who his people are not. Many false prophets are around trying to steal, kill, and destroy God's children. They do not bear any good fruit. A good tree does not produce bad fruit. And a bad tree does not produce good fruit. So they've been producing fruits, but it's not good fruit. You must understand the fruits of the Spirit. Thank you, Lord. The fruits of the Spirit are only given through the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Which is love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. And we don't promote evil. My God. We don't cast stones. My God. We don't cast stones at God's people. We don't judge them like the world does. We help them out. We help, my God, the word of God is helpful and God breathe and it's for helping people to preach teach instruct to help them the word of God is sharper than any double-edged sword the word of God is alive true and active sharper than any double-edged sword you must know the word of God because God is already in you he that is in you is greater than he that's in the world and he is heightening up his spirit in you there's a bigger calling for God's people and these false prophets false teachers my God evangelists they're on the rise God has put them front and center stage so that they can expose themselves thank you Lord this is the word the Lord has given me about four years ago and every time the seasons come, he prompts me to put the message out there for his children. So if you've been connected to this ministry 
for the past four years, even after, this is what the Lord has been getting us ready for. So there's so much evil going on in the world because the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy God's children. They see the light in you and they want to destroy you. It's like a cult. You want to come out from amongst them. You want to come out from amongst them because whatever leadership that they are under, this is where you would be getting the same. Many are being judged right now. So you want to come out from amongst them. Because whatever judgment they're under right now. The Lord. God will let you feel. That part of his wrath. That's upon them. God's wrath is here. And these people are under God's judgment. And he has put you in place to report back to him what you see. My God. What do you see? He's asking you. And then he will tell you the spirit, the Holy Spirit that's in you. He that is in you is greater than he that's in the world. He'll show you the lies that they're, that they're under. They don't belong to the Most High God. They belong to their father, the devil. My God. So the Lord wants you to come out from amongst them. Be separated and join him. And he will continue to sharpen you, strengthen you. <laughs> Stay encouraged. Stay rooted and grounded to the word of the Lord. Because the Lord is going to be pouring out His Spirit. He's pouring out His Spirit in His children. But you must have an ear to hear what the Spirit says to the churches. God is Spirit. So children of God must worship God in Spirit and in truth. So the truth will set you free. So whomever the Son sets free is free indeed. And only Jesus Christ can set a person free. No one else. And these people, my God, these people were not called. Many people have appointed themselves. Ask them, did God call them? Or did they, they call themselves? My God, you will recognize them by their fruits. My God, God is exposing Thank you, Lord. You will call good evil and evil good if you do not come out from amongst these people. My God, 828. Romans 828. 828 is on this clock. Romans 828. And we know that all things work together for your good for those who are called according to God's purpose. We love them. So he has a bigger plan for you. He wants you to come out from amongst them. You got to see what you had to see. And they have some truth in them. Yeah. That's because they steal a lot of information from God's people. They steal it. But the Spirit of the Lord is not there to train them. So they have to study people. But a lot of times they will be wrong. A lot of times they will be right. And that is because they've been studying people by the devil's ways. The Lord says, don't believe every spirit, but test the spirit to see where they're coming from. Because there's many false prophets in the world. And they're on the rise right now. So be separated from them. Come out from amongst them. They're, they don't mean you any good. They're my God. Here it is. They are leading the sheep to be slaughtered. They are leading his sheep to be slaughtered. They know what they're doing. You're weak. And they see that. It's a cult. So 
They're your God, but you can't see that. My God. They serve the devil. Their God. The little God. <laughs> the God of this world. That blinds the minds of unbelievers. So they don't believe in the most high God. So these false prophets are serving the devil and they don't know it. Because the most high God has given them a powerful delusion. My God. Help us, Holy Spirit. Help us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He did not come to condemn us, but to set us free. Jesus wants us all to be saved and no one to perish, but everyone to come to repentance so that we can live the life that he called us to be. So we want to be sure that we're serving the Most High God. These people serve the devil. They're blinded by the devil. The devil blinds these people. So when they're blinded, they are under a powerful delusion. Because God causes the powerful delusion. And the enemy blinds the people. And they're following that person. That's their leader. This is part of a cult. My God. The blind leading the blind. The blind is leading God's sheep into the barns to be slaughtered. My God. And they think they're going to walk away. They think they're going to walk away. The ones that's leading. These are goats. <sighs> Greatest of all times. Yeah, right. My God. My God. We're here to feed the sheep that was scattered by these people. And God is here to judge them. This is their judgment. So if they don't come and turn away from their sins, their wicked ways of leading God's people. My God. He's coming to judge. He's judging. And there will be death upon many people. And if not them, it will go to their second, third, fourth, fifth generations. God is not planned in these hours. He wants us all to repent from our sins and turn back to him. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord, for this word for your people. Holy Spirit, have your way. Thank you, Lord. Have your way, Holy Spirit. God is exposing them. But if you're not hearing with your spiritual ears, you will be deceived. Do not be deceived. The Lord says, come out from amongst them. You cannot do this in your own strength. You need him. You need his spirit to help you out. Many have abused many of God's children. So God is dealing with them. The Lord will show you the way. He is the way. Jesus Christ. Jesus says, I am the way the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And in John 10.10 10, Jesus says the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy but I come to give you life and have it more abundantly. God loves you and so do I. Most importantly Jesus loves you. Amen? Amen.